Welcome back to Innovation. Today, we are going to code our choose your own adventure game, or at least start to code it. But let's dive in and take a look. First thing we need to do is pull up our plan from the other day. So we are gonna start with Abby on a mountain. So to do that, we need to go into our code and we have to get some green flag clicked events. So when the green flag is clicked, we want to move Abby to a particular location and set the backdrop. So we're gonna switch the backdrop first. Remember we had all these backdrops in here. So we're gonna switch it to the mountain. And if I hit the green flag, I can see the backdrop is now switched to the mountain. And then I'm gonna position Abby where I want her. Screen. Whoops, it looks like the code disappeared because I put the code on the stage, the backdrops, not on Abby. So I wanna move that code to Abby and delete the code on the backdrop. So let's go to Abby. There we go, now the code is on Abby. And you'll notice that Abby's X and Y location changed to 110 and negative 94. So I wanna make sure she always starts at that place. I'm gonna click on motion and I'm going to go to that location. And you'll notice the computer automatically put the correct numbers in for me. Now, the other thing I wanna have happen is I want Abby to kind of be looking to the left. But remember, before we do that, we have to set the left-right rotation. So again, in motion, we're gonna drag the rotation style up to set left-right rotation. And we're gonna point her in a direction that's to the left. And if you remember, the left is negative 90. You can either type that in or use the arrow. So let's just give that a try and hit green flag. And look, everything is set up the way it's supposed to be. So now we are going to say something. So we're gonna go into looks and we'll say, and we wanna do it for some time here, but so stays on the screen a little bit. How about we say, you find yourself at a fork in the road. Do you go left or right? So that's Abby's first choice. And if we go back and look at our map, we can see that that was what we decided was going to be her first choice. But we put a lot more words into the program, so it makes more of a story to follow along in our Choose Your Own Adventure game. Next thing we wanna do is ask a question. Let the person decide whether they're gonna to go to the left or to the right. So I'm gonna go into sensing. And sensing is where we find the ask. And we're gonna ask, go to the, now notice how I do this. I'm putting in a single quote, left, then another single quote, or the right. I'm doing the same thing with the single quotes around the word right. And then it says ask and wait, and it's gonna wait for the user to enter in an answer. The reason why I put the single quotes around the words left and right, let's zoom in on here a little bit, is so the user knows what they should be typing in when they give an answer. Now the answer comes in the form of this variable right here. So we have to do something with the user's answer. So what we wanna do is a conditional. So we're gonna to go to control and find a conditional. If, then, else. Then we're gonna to go to the operators and we wanna do a comparison 
between what the user said and what we want the answer to be. So if the answer, notice I'm gonna put this right in that first circle, is left, I'm gonna do something. If the answer is right, I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna to decide to use broadcast messages. I'm gonna to go to events and broadcast two different messages to control what is being said. So I'm gonna broadcast a new message and say, left, broadcast a new message and say, right. So I'm gonna ask the question, check the answer, then broadcast the message. The next step is to receive that message. So I'm gonna drag in when I receive left and when I receive right. Notice the messages are already there for us. And much like we did in our diagram, we're gonna set up a kind of tree here that models our decision. So here would be our diamond block, and then here would be to the left, and here would be to the right. And if we see, that's what we did in our decision. So if she goes to the left, she should see a castle. I'm gonna go in and give my story a little bit more words and say, you begin. To walk down a wooded path. So I'm going to make her walk and actually go to the left. I want her to go way over here to the left. Notice the numbers change again to match her position on the screen. I'm going to use the motion block have her glide to that position. And let's say it takes her three seconds to do it. Once she gets there, I'm gonna switch the backdrop again. I'm gonna switch the backdrop, but remember I wanted the backdrop to see a castle. So if I look at my backdrops, the one that I picked for seeing a castle, I click on backdrops, look at my backdrops, Find the one that had the castle. There it is, and it's called Castle 2. So I wanna make sure I switch to backdrop that says Castle 2. So I'm gonna go into the code, make sure I'm clicked on Abby, because I'm gonna see her code, and I'm gonna switch the backdrop to Castle 2. Now I think I'm gonna use the think command. Have her think a little bit. Hmm. There is a castle in the distance. And I think I'm ready to ask my question. So I'm gonna say, hmm, what was my question? Let me go and look at my plan here. Oh, it was supposed to be to go to the castle or go straight. I'm going to say, should you go left to the castle or straight deeper into the woods? So I'm going to go to my sensing ask my question go to the castle or 
straight. Now, it's important that we spell this correctly because we're gonna assume the user's gonna spell it correctly. So we wanna make sure we spell it correctly. Now, we're gonna check our answer again. To make life a little bit easier, I'm just gonna duplicate the code that was here and copy it down here. So I don't have to do so much work. So I'm gonna broadcast and check my answer to see if it's a castle. And if it's a castle, I'm gonna broadcast a new message that is castle. And if it's not castle, I'm gonna broadcast a new message that says straight. This is very important. We could broadcast a message that says left, but we already used the left message and if we broadcast left it's going to end up in an infinite circle over and over and over again saying the same thing over and over and over again so we don't want to say left we want to say straight or we want to say castle we don't want to reuse a word that we already used in a choice so be careful of that as you're planning out your design so i think that's enough for today we have our left choice made the next thing for us will be to make the right choice and to finish out some more of our options in the left. Remember for the left, we were gonna go to standing in front of a castle door or we're gonna go straight deeper into the woods. That's all for now. See you next time.